My name is Anna Greca. I'm an assistant professor at Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital. And I would like to share with you today some of our recent results uh, that were published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. So a long-standing interest of my laboratory has been um, the study of calcium signaling in health and disease. And in particular, uh, most recently, we have been interested in the uh, regulation of the actin cytoskeleton of podocytes uh, and the relationship of calcium uh, to these mechanisms. Our interest in podocytes really comes uh, from the idea that the actin cytoskeleton in podocytes is critical for their function, which is to mediate uh, filtration in the kidney. Podocytes are terminally differentiated cells that are found in the glomerulus of the kidney. It is essentially the filtration apparatus that allows the kidney to maintain into the bloodstream essential um, proteins uh, and other components and allow the uh, filtration of toxins and uh, other molecules out uh, into the urine. So breakdown of the filtration barrier is actually one of the initiating events in a whole host of kidney diseases, especially in progressive and chronic kidney disease, which is actually a growing problem. One in three Americans currently is at risk for developing chronic kidney disease from uh, diabetes, obesity, and hypertension. Uh, it has really been described as the uh, emergent pandemic uh, of our time. And so this is actually an area of what we call great unmet need. main interest of our work is actually to develop podocyte protective strategies. That would be medications or treatments that would prevent the death or loss of podocytes. The main uh, motivation for our work and uh, what really caused us to develop an interest in calcium signaling in the cytoskeleton of podocytes. The ion channel TRIPSI-5 uh, is uh, an important component of the early steps that mediate injury of the cytoskeleton of podocytes that leads to kidney disease. And we found that a small molecule inhibitor of the ion channel TRIPSI-5 is capable of blocking the channel, blocking the influx of calcium into podocytes, and preventing uh, cytoskeletal collapse in these critical cells, uh, therefore protecting the filter barrier. Specifically in relationship to TRIPSI-5, we found that it regulates uh, a protein called RAC1. This is a uh, regulator of the actin cytoskeleton in podocytes, and the activation of RAC1 through the activation of TRIPSI-5 was found to uh, mediate the breakdown of the actin cytoskeleton. This results in the breakdown of the filter barrier and causes the leakage of protein into the urine called proteinuria, which is one of the earlier ha hallmarks of progressive kidney disease. Is this the RAC activity assay blot? Yes, that's correct. Where is the positive control? It's right here. Then you have the negative control next to it. And with and without MO204, so you decrease the activity with MO204. That's great. Yeah. So the blot worked. It really did. Good job. That's awesome. Thanks. Our work uh, focused on TRIPSI-5 ion channels and their inhibition in podocytes as a possible treatment for proteinuria kidney disease uh, is certainly very exciting. And I think to me it's even more exciting taken together with some other recent developments out of my laboratory in collaboration with uh, another laboratory here at the MGH, the Mundel Laboratory. Uh, some of this recent work has actually shown the way for a new treatment for patients with proteinuria kidney disease, which we have taken from uh, the very basic science level, uh, doing studies in cells, uh, to doing translational work in mice and ultimately in a proof of concept study in uh, some of our own patients here at the MGH. These new treatments taken together I think herald a new and exciting area in this field of kidney disease and I think that they bring new hope for possibility of uh, new treatments for our patients who are suffering from devastating kidney diseases. Our work on podocyte uh, protective therapies here at the MGH and Harvard Medical School hopefully paves the way for uh, new uh, treatments more targeted treatments, more personalized treatments for patients uh, with uh, progressive kidney disease.